Now that Brock Lesnar is almost guaranteed to never return to a WWE ring, I thought it would be the best time to address some of the issues involving the former WWE champion in his past. These issues make it clear that Brock Lesnar is one of the biggest hypocrites in the history of WWE and professional wrestling. Let's go way back to the early 2000s when Brock Lesnar had yet to debut on the main roster. He was still honing his craft in Ohio Valley Wrestling where the head booker was WWE veteran former manager Jim Cornette. And Jim Cornette's girlfriend partner was also wrestling in OVW back then. There was one instance during a tag team match, before this tag team match, a mixed tag team match specifically, Jim Cornette's then girlfriend told Brock Lesnar that she was having some issues, some issues that she couldn't disclose and he shouldn't grab her where she's feeling pain. Brock Lesnar assured her that he wouldn't do that. When the match started, Brock Lesnar made it a point to grab Jim Cornette's girlfriend at that very area and she screamed in pain. After the match, she went straight to Jim Cornette and told him what had happened. Jim Cornette knew that he couldn't face Brock Lesnar in a real fight. Cornette confronted Brock Lesnar and told him straight to his face that he knew that he couldn't take him in a real fight. But if he ever did something like that, he would shoot him in the face with a gun. This was what was said to Brock Lesnar by Jim Cornette back then. After Brock Lesnar made his way to the main roster, something happened between him and WWE legend Goldust's ex-wife Marlena. As per Marlena, Brock Lesnar saw her in a backstage area and flashed her. Marlena was taken aback by the disrespect that Brock Lesnar had shown her. And the third instance is from Brock Lesnar's own book, his autobiography, Death Clutch. She wasn't happy one bit. In the book, Brock Lesnar wrote about how when he left WWE immediately after WrestleMania 20, where he lost to Goldberg at Madison Square Garden, he was afraid that his then partner Sable, who is now his wife, Sable was still in WWE and Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate, he wasn't happy one bit. Brock Lesnar wrote in his book Death Clutch that he was afraid. He was afraid that there were a lot of testosterone fueled wrestlers in the locker room in the backstage area and someone might do something to Sable. This was what Brock Lesnar wrote in his book. So to get it straight, something that Brock Lesnar did to other women he didn't want the same to happen to his then partner Sable. Due to Brock Lesnar's stature of a megastar and his popularity, all of these things were brushed aside, but not for long. Finally, Brock Lesnar has suffered the big blow and it's quite clear, it's uh, almost a guarantee that fans, WWE fans, will never get to see him in a WWE ring ever again.